Hello well, traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this training session how to day trade any market the $1,000 a day challenge so in today's session I'm going to be reviewing a number of live trades I've taken plus uh, from a few days ago plus I just fired off a couple of trades a few minutes ago which I will uh, show you now of course uh, you can apply these strategies to any market whether it be Forex futures stocks this is my goodness it's not session 102 in fact I think we're up to uh, let me get this right here I think this is session 107 so let me just um, mark that up and just make sure that uh, I've got the right PowerPoint just a sec I'll just check that so yes traders it is the right PowerPoint uh, as always my videos are raw real and unedited so if uh, you look your goal may not be a thousand dollars a day it could be less it could be more you're just going to trade less contracts or more contracts now in today's video on the NQ I was trading five contracts on the Russell which you'll see a couple of live trades I just took I was trading uh, 10 contracts why the difference by the way uh, I need a larger amount of money to trade the NQ okay I'm trading a higher time frame but we'll see more of that uh, uh, in a moment as always I do need to get the disclaimer out the way there is a risk in trading don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose star in the simulator until you're consistently profitable and of course you can pause the video to read the disclaimer uh, just a very quick advertisement if you haven't already downloaded my free ebook the truth about day trading uh, there's a description link below better still uh, make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel that way well I shouldn't say better still but make sure you also subscribe to my channel so uh, you'll be kept up to date better still become a member everything I'm showing you here today traders for $197 you get all of my indicators there's uh, over 200 hours of online training there's um, with uh, 38 powerpoints there's nothing else like it out there uh, so um, uh, and of course you don't have to join you may just want to uh, improve what you're already doing but if you want to truly master the art of day trading in the fastest possible time traders I've been trading now for 28 years and I also have a bonus where for uh, included within the 197 you can also attend eight of my live coaching sessions so every Tuesday and Wednesday evening 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. I also run live coaching sessions now after that if you wish to subscribe you drop me an email uh, then you can continue those sessions for 97 a month normally if you go to my website it's 297 a month so 197 you get the works now before you say or even switch off you got to watch this because I'm going to show you some really cool stuff in today's session perhaps I should have said that right at the outset now first of all if you're new to trading you've got to remember what we call the Goldilocks rule uh, down here um, not too easy not too hard just right so I'll be showing you a number of different trade setups but initially you start off by trading with the trend become a trend trader now what's absolutely critical traders is that um, you have goals when it comes to trading because when the why is big enough the how will appear so let me ask you a question would a thousand dollars a day or five thousand dollars a week change your life that is the true potential the potential I can't make promises because I don't know whether you're going to follow my trading rules but that's a true potential and as you become uh, uh, better experienced you can step up the amount of money you wish to make now you'll hear me talk a lot about for an example here trading 10 contracts netting $100 a day which is a thousand dollars a day here on the market I'm trading uh, which we're doing the main review on I was after $300 a day per contract so literally you can create your own ATM machine with experience but you'll see more of that because I want to show you a couple of live trades I've just taken and I want to show you what the market is doing right now so you can see there's no fluke um, in what I'm showing you that the conditions that I trade we get basically 
23 hours a day now we do have quiet times in that period it's just a matter of sitting back but I love trading the after hours market what we call the globe session. now here I've just taken a snapshot um, just out of a uh, an Excel spreadsheet that I share with members that is today we're going to be looking at the 8 tick NQ and I recommend that members if they trade that they have a $7,000 account now you say right I don't have seven thousand dollars that's okay you start on the micro where you only need around seven hundred dollars and you build your account from there I'll show you how quickly you can do that and that's the thing traders so many traders try to circumvent what it really takes to master the art of day trading and they wonder why they never make it and they're the ones that will write the review and say the strategies don't work and all that sort of thing you know what that's up to them you know look if you break the rules you're not going to make it that's the bottom line because I'm going to show you some mechanical trading rules that are very very high probability as long as you follow money the money management rules that go with it so what we're going to be reviewing today and I want to try to keep this under around 30 minutes is um, here on the 8 tick uh, uh, took uh, five trades three wins two break-evens uh, basically three thousand one hundred dollars in ten minutes now this particular day and this was at 2 a.m. Central Standard Time this is last week the market was really moving okay so a couple of days ago and so the market was really pumping away so if the markets really fast this is where then I will increase the time frame that I'm trading in fact if I pull this up um, you can basically trade as I mentioned 23 hours a day and if you're trading Forex basically 24 hours a day five days a week now I've removed my anchor chart one and anchor chart two um, time frames because I've actually discovered a formula where which as I'll show you how effective this is in mastering bounces where the markets going to bounce so I've removed those because become a member and of course you'll learn those now down here uh, we're going to be looking at the 84 but if that's too fast you increase the time frame but that also means you need a larger account now if you don't have the uh, a really large account you just decrease the amount of uh, micros you trade or trade more micros but I teach you um, how to do all of this so on the Russell for an example today I'll show you the 3 1 that's a three tick Renko and an eight tick now a Renko charts just a type of chart you can uh, apply what I teach you here to time-based charts to tick to Renko to range it doesn't well I, I do say it does matter because Renko as you're about to see makes it so much easier and I started out for many years trading solely on tick charts so you'll see what I mean when we get to those charts so um, during the Globex session for an example I'm recording this now at um, 8 54 p.m. Central Standard Time okay um, uh, we can usually trade a much lower uh, time frame see the markets open by the way at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time Sunday in the US so I'm recording this down under in Australia at the moment and down under it's 11 53 a.m. so it's 8 54 uh, Monday morning uh, so there's just some you, you've just got great trading opportunities basically whenever um, so we had uh, on this day and we go to the charts in a minute I had three wins two break-evens and the break-even means where I entered plus a couple of ticks to cover my commissions now I'm going to also show you this because while I was just getting a few things ready and I didn't quite get the PowerPoint right I had the wrong session on there I just fired off a couple of trades on the RTY on the Russell now the Russell is five dollars a tick and you don't have as much volatility as you do on the NQ but as you're about to see you get some beautiful patterns uh, set up so that was all over in 10 minutes as well 848 that's after commissions now actually I may as well quickly show you this right now uh, yes let me show you this now so you can see here I'm recording here Sunday the 28th of July 2024 and if we just skip ahead for a moment just here so you can see these are the waves 
you want to ideally be trading markets that give you these waves okay so you'll see here the the trades I just fired off here and you just get these um, just beautiful waves using Renko charts now what I also want to point out here is the EMA bounces you EMA bounces you have but also off pivots which I'll talk more about in a moment because there are certain indicators that plot automatically and give you a massive head start in the markets like look at this here look at this here okay a slight overshoot and you would find I'm going to show you this in a minute on a higher time frame you're also bouncing off major EMAs what that does it gives you what we call a loaded trade but the point here is and I know members will be watching this what were those just our standard now that was a t3 by the way that I missed uh, and that was a t3 as well just as classic t10s that's what they were okay up there what do we have there a t19 pivot bounce Wow, what do we have here that's a 3b these are just standard setups now each one of these steps I call these steps is worth five dollars on the Russell but I just wanted to show you this that as we're live right now um, that I just fired that off and so there's no fluke in these patterns setting up uh, on a regular basis so what I want to quickly show you is just quickly talk about money management because this whole business is really built around psychology that is um, staying true to your rules money management and high probability rules-based setups so all of the setups that I teach you are all what I call pattern based we're looking for a pattern and as humans we're very good at learning patterns and identifying patterns so here if you don't have the six thousand dollars you start off here uh, on the micro with six hundred dollars okay and you then build your account and looking at this yes I have used the wrong PowerPoint these are uh, this is um, I didn't actually do this correctly I missed this I've always got so much going on anyway it doesn't matter I'll show you actually let me show you on this just here let me pull this up my goodness okay um, oh, what I was going to show you there on the on the uh, Russell by the way if you the Russell what I was just showing you there um, it's what we call a 3-1 you'd need a $3,000 account what's a sensible target to go for a really sensible no ridiculous yep you've got to be trading 20 years before you get there 150 a day okay on that now that is what we call 30 ticks now if you started off with that and down here you average 150 look where you are in 10 weeks uh, let me get well 10 weeks here at basically at around your 5,000 a week potentially and 14 weeks you're up there with your 10 grand a week and how this table works uh, you and by the way you can click on the link below and get hold of this table and a little training video how to use this correctly is that um, you only start trading an additional contract each time you double your money okay so that's really important now let me give you the right <laughs> the document there or the, the figures I should have input and so we should have really had uh, and let me confirm this nothing like doing this live let me just uh, confirm this the eight yes it was seven okay good all right let me get these figures right for you so uh, let me just minimize that there for a minute so with a seven thousand dollar account okay what would be a sensible target let me just get this right would be 350 a day okay so this is the realistic potential there trading for 350 a day on a seven account uh, seven thousand dollars account let me get this out right look we are in 10 weeks now I'll show you in a moment the trades we need to be taking to do that and so what is critical uh, is once again getting back to we never ever risk any more than two percent as you build your account you want to drop that down to one percent risk um, once again money management money management money management so we're now at the charts and actually before we do that let me just see if there's anything else yes there's something else I want to show you just here 
and that was on a six tick I remember uh, um, another video I did session 106 I think it was where I um, uh, recorded a session on trading the six tick and by the way why once again why the difference in the time frames the speed of market you don't want to be trading a market that's going crazy uh, that's where I want to sit on on the sidelines I want to trade a market where I can get my trades placed I can manage the trade I actually call the open of the New York session uh, the killing field why because it's pumping that quickly it's not for me I like to be strategic like to be able to take the time in placing the trade but here's what's critical and here are the key things that I'm looking for and we'll see on the charts in a moment I want to know where my floor pivots are um, and, the, and the cam pivots are these are um, and all of these are indicators you can get for basically any trading or charting platform uh, there's no need to spend um, a huge amount of money or any money on indicators you can get them free just about you know some of the world's best indicators are absolutely free it's how you use those and maybe how you tweak the settings that's probably important where the prior days open high low and close your major EMAs you'll see in a moment how important they are your intraday swing highs and lows that's the ebbs and flows intraday because they make excellent targets and then the current days high um, open high and low so let's have a look at this uh, on the charts themselves so first of all um, here's a chart to where I place the trades there and so we can see down here and let me just pause that there we go I just set up the NQ on another platform on another chart so we can have a look at that as well and just see where price action is right now now what we're looking at here is we can see my EMAs have rolled over if you're a new trader or perhaps a struggling trader trading hasn't been good to you forget your counter trend trading trade with the trend only um, you've got to have what I call the non negotiables now I missed this particular trade just here and I jumped in here little slingshot type setup thank you very much so that was a trend following trade we then had what I call a t12 I want to show you what a t12 is because we get these every day day in day out so a t12 is where on my entry chart uh, I've got what I call an overshoot I've got this sort of thing I'm below my major EMAs and yet I'm bouncing off major EMAs on my anchor chart and that's where I said I've cracked a little bit of a code a secret which I would remove the anchor chart one and two time frames which coincide where we get these major EMA bounces and these become what I call loaded trades now this is on a recording you might say this is um, okay um, just a fluke this one you'll see we'll go to where price action is in a moment and we'll see if we've got any of these have appeared there at that time now as we then pull back and let me just uh, do this as we pull back here I've then got a, another setup trend following thank you very much okay and then I had another one now in this particular case uh, in two cases here I went to break even automatically and the reason for this on my trading dome once I hit a certain target it takes me to break even that's my entry price plus three ticks per contract and the whole idea is that once I'm so much into a trade I, I go to what where I enter the trade cover my commissions and maybe a little bit of profit the unfortunate part of that at times is sometimes it can hit your target pull back stop you out and then continue and that's what happened twice in a row but you know what that's okay with me because I know that the probabilities are on my side you see in day trading there's no certainties there's only probabilities and this is where traders have got to start to learn to think in probabilities the individual trade like trades three and four mean nothing when we look at 20 trades where you're following your rules so that was a, a nice win and so that was a nice short now believe it or not that was actually a trend following trade this is a trend following so was that so was that so was that well 
that doesn't look like a trend following but it was on a higher time frame see the way I like to look at it is your higher time frames are basically the tide we want to be waiting from riding those waves in the direction of the tide so then I had a another one just here thank you very much we hit our target and I then wrap that up so that was on five uh, lots only uh, all within 10 minutes now that was very fast if you're a newer trader you would probably take less trades and maybe even increase the time frame and we can see here straight after there was still some beautiful trades and you can see this there pivot bounce um, uh, we rally up there he's basically a, a, another bounce so pivots are very very important traders and they plot automatically so pivots uh, become what I call price magnets now if we now have a look at what's happening now on the market okay so if we just uh, look at this uh, remember I just mentioned about bouncing off major EMAs so just there we're bouncing just here we're bouncing then we form a nice little double bottom just there in fact if I had have taken that double bottom I would have been stopped out of that I've got a double bottom I had divergence but it was against me now look what's happening here with my major EMAs that rolled over however there was a beautiful uh, bounce just there there was what I call a t10 two of the trades we'll go back to that in a moment I took on the RTY here was a pivot bounce again here is another t12 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 uh, you 34 B's 34 B's now notice here we're bouncing off um, our pivots here is a bounce off the cam pivot look at the divergence so for those that like divergence trading you can see it right there then we come down and we get a bounce again is that the spot I got um, stopped out of yes well if I was trading that point just there now the markets just slow down now this is where this is what we call the danger zone when you see your major EMAs going sideways looking like spaghetti this is a time when you just want to really be sitting on your hands how do we know when to then start to trade again when you've got these zones when you get a breakout I'm looking for what I call a breakout pullback I want to break out of that zone what higher okay like we just had a potential trade just there now another reason you want to know where your pivots are and just go back and there's a quick reminder back on this PowerPoint here check regularly where all of these levels are why they are what we call price magnets and support resistance levels professional traders we trade into those levels so let's just say if you would have taken this trade here this is actually called a 3b you'd be expecting now you may not get it but you expect the bounce up there uh, off your pivot level you don't always get it so say if you'd have taken this trade here and you're very close to that pivot what I recommend is you go to break even or lock some profit in and anticipation that you may bounce but it's very, very simple rules based rules that you use now where's that uh, just to pull this back down again and show you this just here so let's just expand that again so that was the RTY we were looking at at the 8 tick now this time of day normally we're not trading the 8, the eight tick normally uh, we're trading the 4 tick so the markets are really pumping it's been very high volume last week so a big fall away fall off Tesla profits were down but see what we've got just here I want you to remember traders that flat major EMAs are evil okay you want to be very careful whenever you have a flat uh, 200 EMA because you can just chop around and that's what we call a trading range now how do we then identify when we might be going into one of those zones see this here what have I got right here waves we've got waves in the market 
nice big moves okay these are nice big waves now you can see here we we bounce off the pivot thank you very much uh, and and just to point out the t3 you had a t3 let me just confirm that just sit 91 so uh, so you had a t3 there as well uh, a t3 is a very very high probability reversal trade okay and it's a great scalping opportunity so you had one there had one there now these are your t3s are the only variants it's going to say they're 100% mechanical in their approach rules based the only time I've just got the same market on another screen I'm just watching what's happening right now uh, the only time where you won't take them a t3 uh, is um, number one if you're a brand new trader do there's still a, a divergence trade a reversal trade sorry so you don't take them initially uh, or in a very very fast moving market okay so you'll get t3s but then quite often price will pull down then it will take off again so do you have waves in the market but see how then we pull back here and I mentioned that was a t3 you've got this here now just so you get everything into context here you look at this if you're a brand new trader so your entry there would, would say be at, at 90 at uh, 91 if you had have ridden that up to the pivot that's at 92.8 that's uh, 18 ticks that's a $90 move in that move now how much a day did I mention that ideally you want to be going for that market now normally normally this time of day we'd be trading the two tick here I've got the three tick Renko just because the markets a bit has been quite fast so that means then you need a larger account now remember 150 a day here financially free I also teach what I call the power of quitting so you'll see with all of those examples I've given you over and done with within an hour so the power of quitting is you hit your target and you stop now the young guns may choose to keep trading okay they are quite happy to sit there at maybe five or six hours a day at the screen and of course they may make a great deal more money however for us some um, I don't want to say old dogs us guys perhaps in our 60s um, uh, perhaps uh, want lifestyle we might want to exit and wrap up our trading in a shorter period of time as we can so traders um, look I've covered a lot here with you this truly is not rocket science it's about being patient it's about discipline getting the right education uh, applying the right money management and the beauty of this now is that if you don't have two five ten twenty thousand or even if you do you start on the micros and you can get going with a micro contract with as little as three hundred dollars and you build your account from there and it's 10 12 15 weeks and you're there um, but I do want to say one thing with that too before you even start trading a live micro you've got to master it on the simulator that may take you 10 weeks five weeks you see I want to be direct with you it you've got to put the effort in I mean the only place in the world where success comes before work is in the dictionary it's not rocket science you've got to learn the patterns none of this is rocket science okay have I pulled back do I have what's happening on my stochastics here have I got a deep pull back do I have a pivot bounce all rules based stuff not rocket science but you still got to put some time in so traders why don't you come and join me um, as well as that uh, no long-term commitments um, 197 you get all of my tools all of the videos you can attend eight sessions and if you don't if you're unable to attend the live coaching sessions you can watch the recordings anyway then after that if you wish you can then sign up and attend the monthly sessions if you're looking for a change in career if you're looking to increase your income part-time or full-time there's no better way of doing it than as a trader you can also maintain your job you get home at 6 p.m. at night you can start trading 7 p.m. for a couple of hours anyway this is now gone 
30 minutes so traders uh, I'll see you uh, hopefully in my coaching sessions uh, and or in my next video thanks traders